grow your own. It used to mean either a garden or an allotment. But now people are cultivating fruit and veg in all sorts of ways. Like this scheme on the old Fountain Brewery site in Edinburgh. Plants in movable boxes on land leased to members of the local community by the owners pending redevelopment. It's meanwhile land use and basically what it means is that you're using resources that are there on a temporary basis. We do call ourselves an allotment styled community garden because everyone does get an individual bed and that empowers the individual. But we're a community garden because it's a community space so it's not like this is your bit. We don't draw little lines on the ground and say this is your bit, this is my bit. First and foremost it gives us uh, some great contacts in the local community. So an area where we're going to be investing for a number of years, it, uh, it's worthwhile getting to know the people that are there. It also takes what is largely a redundant site for us just now while we're working up planning and it brings a sense of community to that. There's a very visible sense of something happening so it's not just derelict, so it's positive from that respect as well. The Scottish Parliament is now looking at a proposed law, the Community Empowerment Bill, part of which is about people's ability to grow their own food the committee examining the bill wants to know if more food growing schemes would be helped to develop across Scotland as a result of the new law. This bill is about giving people the right to make changes for the better at grassroots level. Part of that is about more people, offering more people the opportunity to, to grow their own through access to the allotment areas and other types of growing spaces. It will also require councils um, to draw up and, and maintain food growing strategies for the communities. It's extremely important that we hear uh, from people uh, about their experiences uh, of their allotment or the fact that they're waiting for one and have been waiting a while. The committee itself um, has asked Anne McTaggart to lead on this area uh, and uh, I hope that uh, uh, folk will not only contact uh, the committee uh, but may grab myself and Anne as we're out and about in the streets uh, and tell us what their views are. So here's what the Parliament wants your views on. What are the benefits to you of having access to an allotment? What other types of growing spaces in your community could be used to grow food and plants? Under the new law, your local council must have a food growing plan. How could this assist you? You can get in touch with the Local Government and Regeneration Committee by writing to us, by email, by telephone or through social media.